What is going on guys? We are back and we got PDC versus Trosco for World Cup. Trosco is 2-0 at the moment. Not sure if Spain is in the next round yet guaranteed, so he might have to win this for his team. They both bring a really fat teams. This looks really similar to the team that Flamitini had yesterday versus Jamvad. It might even be the same team. Yeah, it might be the same team. It was Roxkill Fable. Toxapex was like infestation, toxic, toxic spikes recover if I recall correctly. This was um, Ash Greninja if I'm not mistaken. Magma Storm Heatran with Toxic Taunt and Rocks. Or was it Rocks Lando? I think it was Rocks Trent. <coughs> but yeah, I think both players will have a Rocks Clefable. And yeah, they did just exchange Rocks turn 1. Suicune. It's a bit annoying, but I don't think it just wins the game. Like, he has some answers for Suicune. They both have Silas Dealer and Clef. I assume it's gonna be Choice Garf and Hiligo and Trosco's team, and maybe Zemo Vladi, but I just disconnected. My net is really bad here. I'm gonna pause it and be right back. I'm sorry. So, Trosco did switch his Fable out into the Hiligo, and um, PDC went for a knockoff to get rid of the Choice Garf and the Hiligo. Um, I'm thinking that Trosco decided he doesn't necessarily need his Choice Scarf in this game and he didn't want to lose the leftovers on his Clef. Because like Flaming T uh, PDT's team is not that fast. I almost said Flaming Teeny because that's the same team or like a team that looked like the team that Effie had yesterday. I hope I'm not gonna DC again. I also gotta grab my charger soon. It has T-Spikes. I was thinking that at first when I looked at the team because it might be Wincoon with Sub and Protect and people like to pair it with Toxic Spikes. It just it just works really well. But he has um, the Toxapex to absorb the T-Spikes. So he can pivot later on from either Heatran or... Like he has... As, he basically has these four mons that... Or five mons that don't care about Toxic Spikes. Only Greninja cares about them, right? So he's just gonna go to something that doesn't care about T-Spikes and go back to this to get rid of them later on. He does not have Hazard Control. So if he did not have this T-Spikes Absorber, they would have been a bit annoying. Like, like in general, if his team was more affected by them. But his team isn't really affected by them. So I assume he's gonna go for infestation here or for toxic spikes on its own. Yeah, he goes for toxic spikes on its own. Trosco also has something to absorb them, which is the Nihiligo. But this has regenerator. Nihiligo doesn't have regenerator. Nihiligo will get worn down faster. He does not. He does not have wish pass or anything like that. I don't remember how many games PTC has played so far. I think his team is already qualified for next round. I'm thinking this is either like some Call Mind Ladi or some Z-Move Ladi. Like either Soldo or Z-Move. He could also be Z-Move on Saddle Stealer. Uh, actually, what am I saying here? Um, the, the Mon that is most likely Z-Move is the Duck Trio. But he's T-Bolt, so yeah, that makes me think that he... I'm still thinking he's Z-Move Duggy or Z-Move Ladi, yeah. But if you, if you run Z-Move Ladi with um, Z-Thunder... Like, it's usually the Thunder, I think, over ZT Bolt, because you want to do more damage to stuff like Celesteela. Like, Celesteela is a little bit annoying to Trosco's team opposing Celesteela, but... Between these three Pokémon, he can play around it. Like, he can bring in the Clef on a break that Leech Seed. You can get, if the Kun gets in on Celesteela, he can sub down, and so he doesn't get Leech Seeded, so it just beats that. Obviously not when a T-Spike is up, but in general if there's no T-Spike. I'm not 100% sure, but I think PTC is on US East, right? <laughs> I rewatched earlier a little bit of my recording. He does go into Nihiligo to absorb the T-Spikes. Flame Victini is gonna go Toxapex here to do the same, absorb the T-Spikes. Did I say Flame Victini? I meant PTC. I'm not sure what I said. I keep changing it up, because it's the same team basically. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that PDC might be on US East because Nick Flamington is also on that team and if they got if they if he gave him the team, like that just makes a lot of sense to me. Also Flamington's um Toxapex did not have leftovers like this. And yesterday I was thinking it might be Rocky Helmet, but the longer I think about it, I'm thinking it might be Shed Shell. Like Shed Shell Toxapex? I saw that used early in another game. Could definitely be the case. Yeah, what I was saying earlier, we watched earlier my um, Flaming Victini video versus 
Mr. Jamvet. And I said use est at the beginning. <laughs> that was funny. Like, it's obviously use east. I pronounced it wrong. I recorded the game at like 1 in the night or something. 12. I was late in the night, basically. So. <laughs> He's probably just gonna go for a toxic here, right? He goes for a recover. He plays it safe, which is understandable. This thing is in the long run. PDC might get up the toxic spikes because the Nihiligo will just get worn down a lot. It's already at 50%. The next time it comes in on rocks, it's at 38. Um, Trosco. Yeah, he might have defog on the Lottie. I think he probably has defog on the Lottie. Like, his team looks somewhat annoyed by hazards if he gets, like, hazard stacked by spikes and rocks. Even though they only, like, spikes only touch half his team, but still. Ricardo's game started versus Hero. Um, there's no help, I have to record that too. Ricardo's pretty cool and like I want to record all his games. And I think he's playing a third game later on too versus P2. Um, hopefully there's no third game though. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a team that I'm using a shot on live. The only difference is there's a Mantine. I think that the team that I'm used, I don't know, I think it had a Tangrove? But yeah, and Ricardo did bring Rain, but probably Electric Cedar Lucha. Uh, Z move Tapu Coco. Specs Kingdra knock off Power Whip Leech Seed. Um, spikes or Rocks on Ferrothorn. He could also be Rocks on Swampert and Spikes on Ferrothorn. He could also be Double Hazard. But I assume it's Leech Seed, Power Whip, knock off, and then one Hazard on this. Pelipper, I'm not sure if it's Specs or not. I always mix it up. I think I've seen his team. But uh, you, like, he might have changed up some sets. I know that Ricardo likes Specs Pelipper. But when you have two rain abusers, like I'm thinking that he might be, um, like he would appreciate damp rock. Also the Coco, I'm not sure if it's Z Thunder or Z Wild Charge. Then this team is obviously Mega Heracross. Um, I assume Spadef, Chirachi, Choice Gav, Gren. I could be Ash Gren, another Choice Gav user. Could also be Scarf Chirachi with a man time because, because he's not weak to Volcarona since he has a man time. But yeah, unless this has Grass Knot, this is free Stealth Rocks. If he has Rocks on this, this is free Rocks for Ricardo. If he doesn't have Stone Edge, he gets walled by Mantan. Yeah, he gets up the Rocks. So I assume he doesn't have... I assume he doesn't have Stone Edge. It's probably Ice Punch, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Waterfall, or Aqua Tail. Let's see what happened in this game. He went out with the Clefable on the T-Bolt. He's probably just gonna soft boil or knock off here. He just soft bolts, plays it safe. This is at 37 now. Like I said, it's gonna get worn down pretty fast. Back into Toxopex and a Power Gem. I'm just waiting for this Toxopex to go for Toxic to catch the Ladi on the switch. Because if it's the same team that Flame Victini has, it's Toxic Spikes plus Toxic. I think Flame Victini never revealed it versus Jam, but, but my man on um, BTB knows Flame Victini, and I think he confirmed me that um, it was Toxic in the last slot. I don't remember if FV revealed it yesterday. But yeah, Ricardo's gonna be forced out. He's gonna defog, obviously. He doesn't want the rocks on his side of the field. Um, if this is HPI, is going Landers is a bit risky. I assume it's gonna be Taunt and then either Z Wild Charge or Z Thunder. Uh, and then U turn and HPIs, maybe. Could also be the Taunt Nature's Madness set, but I don't think Ricardo is a big fan of that set. That set is on specifically, like, it's only good versus fat teams. It's not that good versus offense. Like, it's a, it's obviously annoying if you, like, get walled by Landris. Doubles out into Pelipper. Probably predicting the Landris, which means he might not have, he might not have HPIs. This also works out um, versus Raji. If he specs, he's gonna click Hurricane here and do a lot of damage to either the Coco. Or the Mantine. But it's Bedev Chirachi. <laughs> he did just stay in and go for Wish. Yeah, I was thinking that he was Scar for a second. I know that the team that Aim used in the live was um, Spadev Chirachi too, but the longer I looked at his team, since he had a Mantine, I wasn't sure anymore. I thought he could also be Scarf on this. It's like this already gives you like good Spadev bulk. So this could be the this is probably a stealth rock if it's not is it the land the land roll? I don't think he set up rocks so far. But Pharaoh's one is gonna go for a knockoff here or gonna double switch out. Uh, he can also go for spikes. He you don't wanna give the Heracross a free switch in. 
The thing is, Jirachi has U-turn, so yeah, yeah. Jirachi has U-turn, right? Oh, unless the Jirachi is Stealth Rocks. But he doubles out in the Kingdra and goes for Hidden Power Electric. Oh my god, what a lord. I can understand why he made that play, because even if the Jirachi had U-turn, he probably would have gone into Mantine thinking that he doesn't have to fear anything, and then he could have um, blopped it, bopped it with the HP Electric. Or like, um, you want, Gilcarta just wants Kingdra in with the rain being up. And like, he was not staying in with Ferrothorn there and giving the Hera a free switch in. Like, unless he just got up a hazard, but I know that Ricardo likes to make a place like that, to like, get the momentum, switch the momentum in its favor. He doubles out because he knows that he's not going to stay in. Um, he probably cocked it and knows that it's choice back, so he was locked in, so Ricardo doubled out on the obvious land risk. And now he can click Stealth Rock, or he can predict the Mantine and click Ice Punch. Uh, Ice Punch obviously also hits this, but he got off the he got off the intimidate on this, so that's a bit, that's nice for his opponent, like for for hero hero. Um, but let's talk about the trolls go game. I hope I didn't disconnect. He just power jumped again. He did go for recover, so PDC playing it safe, paying all for him. I might have gone for toxic or T spikes again. Um, yeah, he goes for T spikes now that he's healthier. He goes back into the go, but he can't keep doing this because he's like really low. Fable switches back out. Obviously, he doesn't want to take a sludge wave. Just clicks Power Gem. I don't see Trosco winning this game at all. PDC is like in a fine position. And if this is Shed Shell, if this is Shed Shell Toxapex. Yeah, it's Shed Shell Toxapex. I love that I called it. Nice. That's really nice for PDC. He just throws up a heavy slam to break the sub, but Trosco was obviously not staying in as he can't touch the Solar Stealer. Did he go for Ice Punch? He just went for Ice Punch and it doesn't do it KO thanks to the Intimidate. So Mantan is able to roost here. Goes back in the top of Coco. Um, I don't know yet if the land is his helmet. That might be another reason. Um, that might be the reason why he didn't u turn earlier. M number one, he might not have want to reveal it. Number two, um, it might be Rocky Helmet Landers. Um, but I'm also thinking that he didn't want to take Rocky Helmet. Hmm. Hero is not staying in here, but Ricardo has been playing fairly aggressive. The thing is, it's he needs this Manta, and like he can definitely not stay in. He knows this walls the um, this walls the Swampert. I really like the HP Electric tag that Ricardo has on the on, this, on the Kingdra. Dives out into Halucha, gets the defense boost from the Electric Seed. Jirachi does come out and. I assume we're gonna see a sword stance here from the Halucha. Yeah, on the U-turn. Yes, on the U-turn, and he's gonna go on the Landris. Um, everything else gets destroyed. Uh, Tapu Koko, Tapu Koko might be able to tank a hit. Yeah, Tapu Koko might tank a hit. Let me calculate real quick. If Tapu Koko doesn't tank, he's forced into Landris, obviously. Uh, let's say Halucha plus two. I don't think that's 68 to 80. So it doesn't kill. So Tapu Koko is definitely the correct, the correct play. I'm wondering if this has some weird hidden tech to kill Tapu Koko, but I don't think it has. Because usually they run Drain Punch, High Jump Kick Acrobatics on that um, electric seed set. So PTC can just play it safe, go into Pax on a leech seed. Is he gonna set up a T Spike again or doubles back into Steeler? Okay. So he can just go for Protect here to get his lefties. It, that's not even necessary, but you can also just go for Leech Seed. It just goes for Heavy Slam. Celestia versus Celestia is like they just stare at each other, they don't do any damage. I race Scarface versus Mazar started. Oh wow. I think I gotta record that too, so we're gonna we're gonna have multiple games. I did not want to do this. I had a secondary laptop set up in my other room, but my fast internet died, so the slow internet doesn't work with two laptops. So yeah, Ricardo is just making the safe play. Um, this might be Oka or Choppleberry. I'm thinking it's probably Choppleberry to take a hit from Mega Medichem. That makes a lot of sense to me. He did um, taunt predicting a hazard, but he just goes for Gyrobolt to get off damage. And I assume Harrow is going to hard switch out unless he has Volt Switch, but he showed U turn, so he's not going to have Volt Switch on the same set. And let me look at the Race Scarface game with Mazar that started. Um, Race Scarface brought stall. Mm. Was to be expected from him. He brought it um, in his first game and was Blanda. He brought some bulky offense yesterday. It did not work out. 
Um, Mazari's team. Mawile plus Zygat, probably Ben Zygat, it's pretty cool if you can get a Brox. Um, I could see this being Rocks Mega Mawile, so he can force, so he can like force out the Sable and get a Brox. And then Z Bennett Zygat puts in work if he gets Rocks up. Um, Scarf Lottie, Ash Greninja, I could see. Could also be Spikes Gran, because that can potentially get off um, Spikes if Sable takes a bit of damage, it can't switch into the Greninja. I uh, assume it's Subtoxic Trend, because you don't want to get trapped by Duck Trio, and I think it's just standard Assault Vest Tangrowth. And we will talk about this PC game a bit for now. And I'm not going to explain Race Scarf's stall team because everyone knows what it does, right? He does the infestation. Um, the leech sheet helps up the Kuhn a bit, so he can substitute up here if he wants. Harden to Greninja. I think this is Dark Pulse. Uh, Hydro Pump, Water Shriek, and Spikes Ash Greninja. It just goes for Protect to see what the Greninja does. It goes for Dark Pulse. Um, I can see Trolls go going for Calm Mind or for a Scald. And what happened in the Ricardo game? He just went for Jarable, got some nice chip on the Jirachi. The wish, the wish pass is really nice for Hero Hero to keep his team healthy. Doubles on the Heracross, really nice. That did a lot though, holy. That did so much. I assume this doesn't even have HP investment because that did so much. And he does the Choppleberry coming in clutch for Ricardo. And the Heracross is gone. And now he's gonna send out his Greninja or Herac uh, or Landris. I think Greninja. And in this game, he obviously leads off with Sableye. Mazar goes in the Heatran in case he wants to go for a Will O Wisp. And now he's gonna set up a substitute if he has it, because um, there's like only if he has the specific spread from Benge, there's like a low chance that Knockoff breaks the substitute. And this this is still puts in the work because um, Magma Storm plus Off Power beats Pax, and even if the Pax has eject button, if you have a sub up, you don't lose to Duck Trio as long as you hit. I don't know why he went for Protect because the substitute was fairly obvious there. He does not have leftovers on his Heatran. Oh, so maybe it's Shed Shell Heatran. So Mozar really doesn't want to get trapped by Dagira. That's kind of funny to me. Maybe it's Z Move or Shed Shell. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of surprised because he does not have Wish Pass or anything, so I'm not sure how he's going to keep this healthy. But yeah, he's just going to spend recover for a while, try to stall some Magma Storms. As in this game, he brought out the Landris, yeah, either Landris or Greninja. And I think he's kind of forced to click off quick, even though the Pelipper in the background is obvious. He might u turn predict in the Pelipper, but he just plays it safe in Earthquakes. I did not really like that play. I would I would have rather gone out into Greninja. Because Greninja has like, it's like harder to switch into for Ricardo. And if you go into, if he goes into Landris, it's like you're kind of forced to Earthquake. Because if you u turn the Pharaoh Stone stays in, it's going to be really annoying if it goes for Leech Seed. So I would have... I mean, maybe he had a Greninja set that couldn't touch um, some mons on Ricardo's team. That's why he didn't go out to Greninja. That could be the reason. I'm not really sure. And in this game, he just went for um, Calm Mind. Mm -mm -mm. I think he's gonna go... Oh, he just Dark Pulsed again. Well, that does absolutely nothing. Does this Suicune just win the game? He's just Calm Mining up here. He's going for Flinches or Crits. There's a Substitute. So he's gonna protect you to get some more health, I assume. Yeah, now he, like, PC kind of has to stay in at this point. That doesn't even break the sub after two call mines. Oh wow, this is dangerous for PDC. He can protect again. Yeah, the Kuhn might just win the game now. I don't remember if the Toxapex has Haze. I don't think it has Haze. Oh, the Landers has Punishment, if I recall correctly. If the Landers has Punishment, that move is so cool. Let me show you guys Data Punishment. Uh, plus 20 for each of the target's stat boosts. But yeah, what is going on in the other games? The, I assume he just went for U-turn or Scald, or he just switched hard into Coco. Yeah, Spidef Raji um, kind of checks the Coco pretty well. So he's just gonna throw up the rocks here, I assume. To force the man to defog to get a free turn. Um, Ricardo's in a fine position. Like this is forced to defog, gets a free leech seed off as long as he doesn't get burnt. He can also click knockoff, get rid of the lefties. But leech seed is probably the play. Okay, he goes for that. Yeah, getting rid of the lefties on Manton is really helpful. Now he's gonna go for um, switching the pillow. Okay, I thought he would leech seed. 
Um, we can tell by now if the Pelipper is damp rock, if we just pay attention to when he set up the rain. Ricardo might double out again because he didn't show anything yet and he probably can't touch the landers. He goes for a Z move. Z wild charge? Oh, Guardian of a Loader. That's Z Nature's Madness. Z Nature's Madness does 75% to the Jirachi. So he's gonna protect. So taunt um, to pr prevent us from going for Wish. I can see him just going for U turn now. That covers the Coco going for taunt and it covers Ricardo switching out. Into Pelipa he goes in case the Pharaoh came out maybe and he didn't want to take Iron Bob, not sure. And it was Swampert on the U turn there. I thought that blows. That's pretty cool. I like this game, man. But it's going on a bit too fast and I'm trying to figure out the Pelipper. Pelipper's Drizzle came out on turn 3 and the rain ended at. Yeah, yeah, after turn turn. Yeah, so I think pretty sure he has Dambrook, yeah. It's pretty much confirmed. And in the Mazar game, he went for off port, tried to get some speed dev drops. He gets the speed dev drop turn first try. So he switches out in the chance. He Magma Storm does miss, which is really annoying. He sets up the rocks. Nice. Seismic Toast does break the sub. Hard into Mega Maw while and this is kind of tough spot for Ray. The damage on Mawa is really annoying though. He doesn't have Healing Wish support. I really like Mawa plus Healing Wish versus Stall. He might SD up. He might also just Thunder Punch. Yeah, he goes for SD and Ray Scarvis is in trouble now. What is he gonna switch in? Oof, oof. He just went for Earthquake because he has been playing super, like, kinda aggressive. So, in case he wanted to stay in there. I can understand that play. Like Ricardo is still fine. He's up 6-5. Gets a poison on the Pelipper, which is nice for this guy, but I don't think it's that bad for Ricardo because the Pelipper is not staying in for that long. And he's either gonna go to Tapu Coco or Yeah, probably in the Tapu Coco here. Okay, so this Suicune just clicking protag. Dark Pulse doesn't break the sub. He sub. Oh, it does break the sub, but he subbed again. He 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 knew that it would break the sub. This time he switches out into Landro. The thing is, yeah, yeah, he's gonna U turn and doesn't even break the sub. Oh god, yeah, this game is over. He's gonna go for Scald. Gonna do a five million to the Greninja. Gets the burn. Ouch. The burn is really annoying because now you can just click Protect, Calm Mind, and the Greninja is gonna die eventually. Well, I really thought PC had a better matchup. But the Kuhn just got in and then, I don't know if PTC played it wrong, but it just got the setup and it's, it was just over from there. Like, I don't see how PTC is stopping this. Dark Pulse tries, doesn't even break the sub. Calm Minds again, Greninja dies to the burn. u does break the sub this time. I think he just went for Skull this turn, right? And then the Rokardo game. He grows in the Ferrothorn, so we can throw up a Leech Seed here, hopefully no burn. There is the burn and power it misses. Maybe he predicted him to go on the Greninja and have like Z low kick on Greninja. Not, nah, nah, I don't think that was the play what he predicted. Maybe he just wanted to get damage. So he get, goes into this and he turns out. But this is kind of tough for Ricardo because he can just roost here to see what this locks itself into. Um, I gotta run real quick and get, grab my charger. We'll see what happens in this game. He kills the Toxapex. Sends out a duck to you and he's gonna have substitute to play around the sucker punch, I think. He goes for screech. Sucker punch. He so he tries to outplay the sucker punch. I pause the recording real quick. Okay, we are back. So he sucker punched the more while predicting the sucker punch from the more while. And he sucker punched again, I think he went for play rough. Yep, he did get rid of the doggy. I'm breathing really heavy. I was uh, running so fast for you guys to get the ch I was running to get the charger so I can keep recording for you guys. Goes for protect. Uh, he said, damn, it was a roll when the Sucker Punch didn't kill <laughs> Ray Scar uh, Mazar said, I don't give a fuck in the chat when wild. I'll, uh, I'll scroll up real quick and show you guys. The chat was going wild. So he gets on the heat churn and... <clears throat> you can go for Magma Storm here, right? And in this game, he just went for Draco Meteor, and he's probably gonna just go for Roost. 
So Ricardo's forced out here with the Kingdra. You know, Purge on a Scald. No burn though, and now goes back in the Pelipper to set up the rain. Yeah, the reason he didn't go. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't go hard Pelipper. Maybe the rain was not over yet? Oh, the rain was over. I think he could have gone this first. He does Roost because he needs this healthy to set up the rain again later on, and he's going to U turn now, I assume. Or maybe Roost again, even. Yeah, Roost again. Yeah, this is looking bad for Ricardo. Back into Kingdra, and he's going to go for HP Electric, I assume. And he does get a crit. Oh my god, the crit is huge. This guy just set my bro hero just winning with Manta no hero. And then he just got a crit. Or was he trolling him? But yeah, we're gonna look at this game where the Suicune is just taking over. U turn to break the substitute. Scald kills off the Heatran. Protect on the Landorus. That's the punishment that I was talking about earlier. This is gonna do so much. But the thing is, he already did so much damage to PDC's team. He's gonna switch up right into Punishment into Clefable. Back into Lardy we go, or oh, he goes, Infestation, uh, do that nice secondary effect, damage, it's a Jack Button Larios, a Jack Button Larios into Duck Trio, I've seen this one time by P2 used, also the Jack Buttons to get in the Coon back, that is a really cool strategy, because you get in the Coon on the one that you can set up on if you if a Jack Button activates, now you can just go for like um, a Substitute or something along those lines, because Toxapex is set up for her. Even if he goes Landorus, he can just get a free Skull then or something like that. So in this game, he's gonna switch out because he's locked into HP Electric. Chiraji goes for Wish. Uh, Swampert is gonna throw up the Stealth Rocks here on the Protect, I assume. As he does just do that. He played it safe in case he wanted to go for Earthquake. Aquatel does miss. Yeah, the Mantan was really annoying for Ricardo. And the crit is unfortunate, you can say, but. I mean, he could have switched out because it was kind of obvious that Ricardo had to go for HP Electric, right? Jirachi gets the U turn off uh, on the Pelipper and Coco gets in. Yeah, you can definitely not give the Swampert a free switch, and he's probably going to U turn again. What happened in this game? Went to Ladi and protect. Uh, I assume this is Choice Guard Vladi with Trick to help even more with the stall matchup. Chansey on the Magma Storm? Question mark. Yeah, so it's gonna do some nice damage because a crit and some the, the second effect from Magma Storm. Just goes for Soft Build. Player is gonna do like oh, I saw it 60. That's 58. So there's the Mega Mall while it's gone. There goes the Mega Mall, that's what I meant to say. Um, Ladi, is it Specs? I'm gonna click Psyshock here, or is it Scarf? I'm gonna trick. It's Scarf and it's gonna trick. I mean, it had to be Scarf looking at the team. It just made a lot of sense. So they said, calm down, Ricardo, stop him. What happened? You know, Tapu Coco on a U turn. Did he stay into HPIs? I don't think he has HPIs. If he has Z Nature's Madness and Taunts, he's probably. Oh, he taunted predicting the rocks. God. Nature's Madness. Did he U-turn? Oh my lord. He just stayed in twice. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Because he's in the back, so he has to make, like... He has to, like, go for U-turn to grab momentum. So I can understand this play. <laughs> but the crit on the momentum was on Fort. They just subbed up on this and the... He set up T-Specs, he did not care, he just lets it set up. Yeah, this game is over then. So he's just gonna call mine, call mine. Call mine, call mine, call mine. He said set up T-Specs, <laughs> he doesn't care. I mean, he can't do anything, this game is over. Because if the setup is sub, the punishment from the Landers doesn't matter. Yeah, he's gonna go to plus six and he's gonna start spamming Skull and he's gonna get the burn eventually. Does a lot of damage. I guess if he doesn't get the burn, the packs can still start it out. There's the burn. So he's gonna click Calm Mind, waste some more PP from this. He only has 10 recovers left. What happened in this game? And a Heatron, he just went for Defog. I mean, he's locked into Defog now, so he can just set the rocks back up. Um, no, no, I mean, he cannot just set them back up because they're still Sableye. 
I think he might I think we'll just go for Magma Storm then or But yeah, I think Mazar was um, expecting stall from Ray. Like he has definitely some anti-stall measures. Like he doesn't have completely like six stall breakers, but he has like some. Oh my lord! He just sacks the uh, the Skarm off. So he's gonna attempt to softball up with the with a chance. I mean, he didn't really have another play because if he went in the Sableye, that I agree. Um, Ray didn't have another play because if he went in the Sableye, he probably got to it killed. And a choice scarf, scarf read that got a scarf trick, like it wasn't doing much, it, let, let's be honest. He's gonna um, maybe double out, break in the Sableye. And he turned really nice play. Maybe he's gonna go for sub now. So he brought his own Tapu Koko. Nature's Madness doesn't miss, and <laughs> both Nature's Madnesses miss. So nothing happened this turn. Hot Swampert and he can click Aqua Tail here, right? I think Aqua Tail does a lot to this. Oof, it lived at 3%. So he's gonna switch out. Um, in case this... Ooh, we went for Gar Gunk Shot. <laughs> I thought this might have been Ash Grin. I guess it could be Scarf Greninja. Yeah, it could be Scarf Greninja. Like, the team doesn't have another Scarf, I don't think, right? Kingdra is gonna click Hydro Pump here or Surf because he doesn't want to miss. So he's gonna go for Wish with his Jirachi and Ricardo is probably gonna switch out into a Pelipper to set the rain back up, right? In this game, he keeps Calm Mining, Calm Mining, Calm Mining as he sets up T Spikes and Scald is going off there. And if there's a crit once, this might just be dead. Calm Mine, Calm Mine, Calm Mine, T Spikes recover. The burn helping him out really nice. And the pressure ability supporting him. In this game, did he go for sub or for Magma Storm? He just went for off power, trying to get this with death drop. Uh, I don't think Ray Scarface can win this at this point. And Germany really needs this win. So Mazar has to win this for Germany, but yeah, he's gonna win it. But I'm just not sure if they can make it to the next round. <clears throat> I haven't looked at the score. I think they're like 14 and 14 at the moment, or something like that, or is it. I don't remember. I know how Lucha he goes. Jirachi throws the wish up. Switches out pretty. Ooh, we went for Iron Head. I mean, he didn't really have that. I don't think he has that many answers to, to Halucha at this point. We see Iron Head doesn't do that much to Halucha because it's a bulky Jirachi. I don't know if this Alucha has some um, HP investment. That, that that damage seems like a l so little. Skull again. I mean, if he doesn't get a crit, he has 15 skulls left, and this uh, this only has like six recovers left. He's just clicking sub and call mine to like save some skull PP here and there. But I'm pretty sure the damage that Trusco has done to PDC's team uh, is like, it's like way too much. Like I can understand now why he kept going into the go earlier because he wants the T-Spike has gone really bad for his Suicune. Complete I completely underestimated this not having haze makes Suicune such a problem for PDC. What happened? Did he get crit? He said whatever. I guess he just realizes that he can't win. Protect on the earth powers, fishing for that spit death drop. We're just clicking recover and protect. I mean, eventually the spit death will drop. To Greninja. I can see him going back in the heat turn here. He just goes for SD, seeing that Iron Head doesn't do that much. He can SD again here. Oh, if he predicted this and go for high jump kick, that's a gold play. But he just goes for acro, and the wish is gonna bring this right. Oh, Mago Berry plus the wish is gonna bring it back to full. So SD, SD again wouldn't have done anything because he brought in the Coco, which is faster. So he gets rid of the top of Coco. Ricardo might have pre predicted a U-turn there, or he just decided that he doesn't need his Alucha anymore. Not sure. 
It's a Grinja gets sacked off to the rocks. I mean, it's kind of hard to analyze every game because I'm like switching between three games. I mean, this game is over. Like, we don't. <laughs> he just forfeited, yeah. But he said GG, so that's that's nice, I guess. So Trost goes went three and zero. I actually forgot how much PDC went. Like I think he was one 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 zero so far, so he's one one one. So so he might be one one now, but I might have also missed like, one of his games. I'll check that later. Back in the heat train break, the will always so protect. Back in the green ninja, and recover. Oof, he's just spamming recover and protect. Back in the trend. Yeah, this game is over. Ray's not winning this. Fishing for that drop. Goes for knockoff and we see it's Zemo feature in a while. Yeah, like I said, I was thinking earlier, is a Zemo for Shadshell. Inferno overdrive. Ooh, that's pretty cool. This is a magma storm. <laughs> oh yeah, PDC still has to play versus Nador. See he's one and one now. Pretty sure. I don't remember his first game, but I think he won it. So rocks on both sides now, but the game is over for Ray. He's going to softball here. Bandit Zaya will put in the work too for Mazzara, he plays it correct. Trosco really surprising that he went 3-0, but um, really cool. Like, I'm a bit surprised by that. I thought he could go 2 1, but not 3 0. Like, whew. Because I don't think the door is bad, and the door did pretty decent and left SPL. So, is, is Harold gonna go into Landris here, predicting the Earthquake? I think Ricardo's just gonna click Aquatel again because the ring is still up for one turn. And the Jirachi cannot kill him. I think he just clicks Aquatel and kills this. He does just do that, he does connect, Landers is gone, and Ricardo should win this, right? But it's actually, whoa, he's, he's down to three months, it's kind of close. No, Lari, he goes. This Lari has a shed shell, so he can actually trick again, so Ray Scarface might be forced, might be tempted to go on the Clefable. But even if he tricks the Clefable, right? Then the Clefable loses the lefties and the Lottie gets the lefties. That's also nice for Mazar. Yeah, I think Trick is an OG okay play here. He can also go for Psy Shock. Jirachi's just gonna. What is Jirachi gonna do? Protect? Jirachi can't touch this. He gets the rain back up just so that uh, Swampert outspeeds everything and Kingdra outspeeds everything. Uh, but it's mainly for Swampert. And now you can just click Earthquake. Uh, from full it probably doesn't kill. Rain just sleeps when the water absorb one gets crit. Imagine that. I mean, yeah, the crit was unfortunate, but it's still a really cool set. Just protect to waste a turn of rain, but it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, the crit was really annoying, but like I said, Ricardo was like really so annoyed by the Mantan that he was kind of forced to go for the HP Electric, so I think he could have switched out Predict in the HP Electric. Because the first time he went for Draco, I think, on the Mantan, uh, um, potentially expecting him to go into Landers predicting the HP Electric. So the second time it was kind of obvious that he was going to go for that. Earthquake just Oko's. I don't know if it's Adamant Perth or if it's just that strong. But he just picks up the last two months. Ricardo's 2 and 0 oh no, and I think Europe, Europe has really good chances um, to make it to the next round or the playoffs, however you call it. And I think he's on Latin America, I don't remember, but I think they're already qualified for next round. So we will watch the we will watch the end of the Mazar game now. I've accidentally clicked X on the Mazar game. Um, where is it? So he did go for a trick. The clef got a shot shield, the Lottie got lefties. He did go for a side shock and get a crit, which is a bit annoying for Ray. But he can still have the next side shock, so he's gonna go for a Moonblast, I assume, here. Yep. Does he get the spe special attack drop? He does not get the special attack drop. So he can click uh, Magma Storm here. He's dead to rocks now. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he might have defog on his Lottie, so he can still go for that, but. 
I think he just wants Rox to be up, like Mazar. He wants Rox to be up, because like Ray only has three mons, and every chip damage is nice on these fat mons, right? So you want the, you want the Rox to stay up. Only one Magma Storm left, so he's gonna just swap another wish here. I really hope no other game starts in the next few seconds, so I can end the video and just have three games in one video. Three games is still like a a lot, like a good amount of games. But it's, it's still okay. And I might just put the countries and a Pokemon in the thumbnail, like two Pokemon or something. Because um, I remember last time I put like all the names when I had a lot of games in the thumbnail. And it's a bit chaotic for um, some people, they don't like it and it's understandable. I definitely understand what they're talk we're talking about. Pretty sure he's just gonna click Magma and... Hmm. I mean, he can technically go for the off power Spit Death Drop. Because if you are unaware... Like, this is unaware Clef, but... If you get the Spit Death Drop, that doesn't matter. Because it's only unaware of the... If you boost... If the opposing Pokemon boosts its stats. If this itself gets Spit Death Drop, that doesn't um, get affected by unaware. That would only get affected if the um, Pokemon on the opposing side also has unaware, but he obviously doesn't have unaware. Yeah, I, I can understand the, the spamming um, spamming off power thing. Trying to get this death drop. Making this waste some wishes. How much did Moonblast do? Did like 6%? Is Moonblast gonna kill? Moonblast did 8%. Goes for rocks breathing the protect. Whew. The boy said Ray is gonna win. I don't think so. Spectorino got subbed in. I think Porges also got subbed in, but I'm not gonna focus on that. It's Auris, and I wanna focus on Sun and Moon, especially when there's multiple games. Um, what I wanted to say, I recorded some games earlier. My net decided to die. It was um, some Auris game, but it was like semi stalled. I'm not gonna re narrate that. It's fine. I only recorded like six minutes of that, and then my net died. And I also recorded 20 minutes of a, the Thorns game, or like 15 minutes for like 20 turns. Uh, on a different computer in the background and my net also died then so I have to look up how long the, the game is if the long is like way longer than 20 turns I'm not gonna re-narrate over that but if the game is only like 25 35 turns and I have tr 20 turns of it live I might re-narrate over it but probably not because like there's so many games like I just I have just accepted that I cannot catch every game live or that I like just won't upload the games that I don't catch live Talk I talked about this a few times <clears throat> How come nobody can beat Stall and Sun and Moon? Um, I mean, if this wastes the wishes... I think Mr. Hustle has a shot, like... I'm not sure anymore if he has the game 100%, like earlier I thought he had it won. But he can still do it, like, they're talking like it's over already. I mean, if they're taking so long, I might as well click on this RS game. <laughs> Porges was Spectorito, so yeah, he brought some semi-stall, you guys can see. Um, I've seen this team in SBL before, I think this is a known team. No, I guess you can say it's stall, it's not really semi-stall. Inspectorito brought a cool team with a Nidal King. But I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to break through the fat team. Venusaur looking like it kinda walls like half the team at least. Ah, if it's Bennett be well it can always put in some work. He did go for heal ball just to save PP on Wish, I guess. Goes for Wish again. Yeah, Mazari not attacking to like save some PP here and there. Uh, I'm Dragon is playing, I think that's for World Cup 2, but Gen 3, so yeah. You already know I don't got knowledge for lower tiers. There was like an 800 turn GSC game yesterday, something like that. People were asking me for fun if I was recording that, I obviously wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really uh, follow that match, only for a few turns. Oh, Benge just said Doggy Trap three months in this game, which is Heatran, Nidoking, 
And maybe the Weeball, if the Weeball is locked into a knockoff. If the Dougie has a Sash, it can then go for reversal. I'm pretty sure that Weeball is faster than Dougie, right? Data Duck Trio. Yeah, yeah. Weeball has 120 and Dougie has 120 speed. I just want to make sure that I don't say anything wrong. Because I know I do that sometimes. <laughs> And the Heatron does go down, at least he was able to waste some wishes from the Clav. Was this Greninja set revealed yet? I think it was uh, Ash Grin, right? Man, Gunshot would be so useful in this scenario. If he had Gunshot, would, and if, he's, if he was Protein, that would be so nice. Because nothing on Ray Scarface's team appreciates a Gunshot. Like, Chansey can switch in, but there's a chance to poison it. He's also forced to click Softball. Sable is super low. So it would get two kill, but Gun can do anything else. So if he's, we don't know that Gunn just said yet. I'm thinking it's Ash, so he might just have to go for Hydro Pump. But if it's Gunk Shot, this is so amazing for him. I really hope Mazar can win this man. Oh, he disconnected, okay. So there's Rocky Helmet Scum, it's not even Chachil on this team, that's interesting. Yeah, I might just say in the, in the thumbnail. I might just say multiple World Cup games or something because I don't want to put like 5,000 names in the thumbnail or I might just not mention the third game and I'm probably not gonna put names in the thumbnail, it's too long I'm probably gonna put some flags of the countries that I've played and some Pokemon and put in work like a Mega Swampert for example otherwise it just looks way too chaotic I'm gonna check uh, later when these next two games are over if my fast internet is back. I would. Um, I'm looking forward to my fast internet being back, because then I can upload again and I can at least do something. I can talk on Discord and stuff. Like this internet is so slow. Like I cannot open anything other than the showdown tab. Like if I open a secondary tab in my browser, it starts lagging. But yeah, I think this game is gonna take a while, and I don't, I don't really, I don't really want to analyze this. I'm not in the mood after re recording three games in one video already. <clears throat> this team looks like it gets completely murdered by Medicham, which is why he probably has the Duck Trio there. To like trap Medicham, right? There was a crit then it only did 52. If that's really bad at Viva. Oh my god, he double crit. I guess that's the way how you can break versus now you can break fatter teams. Oh, is Porges on Team Europe, by the way? I don't know. Because I think the... What is this nonsense? Black Oblivion is on his team and Ricardo and Black Oblivion, they both put dots. I think they're both on his team. Like, if he's on Europe. I know they're both on Europe. I'm just not sure if he is. I think he got subbed in. I haven't really paid attention to that. Maybe he was playing Auras from the, from the beginning and I just didn't realize it. But he just goes for protect the scout with granite. Is he, he went for spikes. Oh, he was thinking really long what he should do there. That, that was a nice play from Mazar's part. Those spikes are gonna come in handy when Ray Scarface is gonna switch around. Sable is basically dead now. Yeah, I think Mazar is a good shot. I don't know why someone in this chat said earlier that Ray wins this. I gotta stop getting influenced by the um by the smoke to his chat. I mean not that. I'm not saying that everyone in Smartest Chat is wrong or correct. Just gotta say that I have to form my. I should form, like, or give my own opinion, not just, like, just read what the Smartest Chat says and just rely on that. Exactly, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, so he's just spamming Giga Drain and uh, Earthquake weakened this a bit. The crit is really annoying. He doesn't really have any switch in the Moonblast, that's the thing. But at least he's getting nice health back from the Giga Drain, so he can live another Moonblast for sure, for sure, even a crit. 
So you can definitely Giga Drain here. Ray Scarves might protect fearing a Giga Drain crit. No, he does not. So if he crits here, his clef is gone. He does not. But this is really cool. Tangros being having Giga Drain. Being able to heal health back, waste some Moonblast from the Clefable. You can't really switch out because because Chansey Devil got knocked off. He's gonna probably protect here, right? He does not protect. Please crit him. Now I, I don't think Mazar has to crit him. I think he's in a in a fine position. But that would just speed up the game. That's thirty percent my nuts. I don't think even if he gets this special attack drop, it doesn't matter because you have unaware on your Clefable, good sir. You have unaware, you have unaware, so it doesn't matter if he gets the drop. N no, no offense to Ray, just, just, just saying, um, right? Yeah, if you're unaware, it doesn't matter if you drop the opponent's special attack. Gets the Ladin on the wish to get the regenerator. I can see him just going back into tank growth. Yep. There's a drop, but the drop doesn't matter, like I said. At least not if the clef stays in. And if he switches out, he has to take hazards. So what happened in the other game? Hey, do you want me to turn timer on? Oh, he, Spectre Rear disconnected. So he, they said Wincon because he disconnected. Classic smog to his chat. I think he just went for knockoff. Yup, Mega Venusaur eats it up. He can just go for synthesis. Um, get his Mega up. Get the bulk that Mega Venusaur has over regular Venusaur. Obviously, this might be Brave Bird, which is why he switched. Just gets up a spike. So it's a hazard stacking team, and yeah, that's the turn we disconnected. Okay, so back into Ladios on the Moon Blast. It probably lives one. Yup. Lefty's um, keeping it alive back into Tangros. I assume no, Psyshock, okay. And it's Zygarde, and now he's gonna spend Bandit Thousand Arrows and get a kill. Um, I think Ray might sack off his Fabler here. He might sack Fabler, go to Chen Zin and click Softball, but. I don't think it helps him that much, like... Like if he stays in here, Moonbus doesn't do that much to Zygarde, I can show you guys. There's like 55 or something, that's my head calc. Let me see if my head calc is correct. 56 to 67, okay, does a bit more. And 1000 arrows does 45 to 53 if it's max defense, but it's not max defense usually. He does sack off the Sableye on the 1000 arrows, and uh, you can go Clefable here and click Soft Boiled. Uh, did I, I meant to say Chansey, he obviously, he just had his Clefable in. I obviously meant to say Chansey. From this range he gets to it, Geode, he's forced to soft well up. So Mazara might just go Tangrowth here and force this out with a knockoff. Now the last move is gonna be Toxic probably on this, which is, might be, this might be super annoying for Mazara. Mazara might also just click Thousand Arrows and Fish for Crit, that's another option. Not sure if that's his best play though. Yeah, you just, just go for that. It is 43. So he can at least waste the softball. He has 12 left. You gotta win this, man. I mean, Sandra was coming back. I think they were like 5 and 10 yesterday and then they came back to 10, 11 and then earlier I thought they were 12 and 12. I don't know which score they have at the moment. What happened in the other game by the way? It's... He just came back, internet issues, okay. Oh, he asked do you want me to turn timer off? I, s I read for some reason do you want me to turn timer on, my bad. I think I read that for some reason earlier. Double into Weewall on the Chansey, yep. I mean, he might pursue here, because Venusaur should wall this as long as there's no crits or full inches. So I think he might pursue for some chip on the Chansey, but not sure. He goes into Tangros, Ray wastes, like, not waste. he was kind of forced to softball, right? 
And now we can go for... Ray obviously doesn't want to lose the Violet on this Chansey, but... So he might just go back into Clefable and knock off, right? Because as Clefable has Shed Shield, it doesn't really matter if he loses that. I'm not sure if Mazar... He doesn't have Sludge Bomb, but I think if he had Sludge Bomb, he would have revealed it by now. It's probably HPIs and... What was the last move on Tangrowth again? That's the Toxic. He, he let it get knocked off. Nice. Whew, Bandit Zygarde goes in now. And also Greninja, if it gets a flinch, goes in. A buddy is still has Clef to resist Dark Pulse. But still, like Cle they all have to take health if he switches. Did he just go for Crash and try to... That is a good chunk. I guess he can try to flinch it. He misses. I mean, he did get a double crit earlier. I didn't want to like cover this game, but the other game they're taking so long to play, so I guess I'll just switch it up. Like I've decided that I'm not gonna put every name in the thumbnail, so it's fine if I have more games. I'm just gonna say multiple World Cup games in the thumbnail or something. <laughs> yeah, he always doubles out the Nidoking King on the Chansey. This time he doesn't, trying to catch him on his day in. He, du he double Toxic, trying to predict the Zygarde. Nice Earthquake crit. I can see him going to Zygarde now, predicting the soft boil. Yup. And even if he toxics here, then he would just he just gets a kill with T arrows. So this is gonna be like 60. Yeah, 67. Good god. So he's gonna sack off his chancy here. And I don't think last month Clefable can win. Yeah, last well, last month Clefable can't win. He has to take some hazards here. Yeah, Mazari became a little bit impatient, I think that's true. Oh, Obliviate is playing too. Ooh, I gotta record Obliviate's game. Yeah, I think this is just kills from 42. Is this a BTB team you sent my teams never lose? I think BTB, um... BTB teams were used like 12 times in World Cup is what he told me earlier and they were like 11 and 1. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't know if I was supposed to mention that. He got a double protect, but it doesn't matter. Even if this doesn't kill... I mean, if this doesn't kill, he can still win with dodging, with dodging a hydro pump. <laughs> Come on, kill Flacken. In the scammer, we go in the rocks. Is he defog? I don't think he's defog when he has spikes. Yeah. Wait, what happened? The chat is going wild. He got a triple protect. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? And he died to poison. Hydro pump kills this. Just hit, just hit, just hit, just hit. Dude, if he misses this hydro pump, dude. I'm throwing my computer out the window like 50 times. Just hit this hydro pump, dude. Don't miss. Hydro pump kills, right? Because he's fist dev. Dude, don't miss. <laughs> what language is this? Or is it a person? I have no idea what that means. Just hit, dude. You couldn't just well trained. You went for the nice spike earlier. You got this, good ninja. Just click it. Yes! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Mizar picks up the win, and Team Germany still has a chance. <laughs> My man's BTB, I think they. <laughs> He's going insane. I don't know if I will cover this game in the... Because if I cover this game and another game starts... I'll have to make my video even longer. Germany is 15-14. Okay, okay, I think they have to win another game. Dude, this Isaac got crushing a heat run. <laughs> Maybe he predicted double switch. I'm not gonna talk about every turn in this game. Because the video is already super long and I kinda wanna end it. But I'm still gonna give you this game. Um, We'll look up... Nah, I can't look up which teams they are on. I think Spectre is the Italian. I think Itali I think Italy is already in, right? 15-15 could still tie break is what I think. Damn, if we get a tiebreaker, dude. I mean, you're asking if Olivier does play tonight. I think he has to play because, like, deadline is in six hours, right? Yeah, everyone plays tonight. That's what I'm saying. Ricardo has to play one more game versus P2. I'm kind of hyped for that. 
It meant it's disconnected again. If you're not coming back soon, I gotta end my recording. Let me check on my phone if my fast net is back so I can start uploading the Mr. Jamet recording from earlier. Let me see. I might pause the recording until he comes back, but I guess the smoke just chat might be a bit funny to you guys, so I might just let the recording go. Okay, he's back. I hope this game ends in the next 10 minutes. I don't want this video to be super long. It's already one hour. <laughs> They're saying terrible game. What are they talking about? Which game? Are they talking about the RS game? This net is so ass, I can't even click on a person and see which game they're in. Yet, yeah, he was talking about the RS game. Heelbell wakes up the trend, spikes go up. Double into Nido King to pressure this with Ice Beam. I think Ice Beam is a fine play here because if he goes back to Chansey, he still has to take spikes. Ooh, ben is playing with Reiku, that's a fire game. I want to see that. Don't don't start before this game ends. Just finish this game. Don't start any new games. Thank you. Please. Yeah, Ben brought a really cool team earlier with Chandelure. I recorded that too. I'm not sure if I will upload it before or after this yet. So he's, does he have Toxic or anything to stop the Slowbro from sweeping him? This Ben is 15-11 it seems. So they are like as good... They're probably in World Cup, but they still have to win like maybe one or two. Not nah, probably one only. Oh well, yeah, I think he, I think he used someone uses with Porsche and SPL. I don't remember if it was Porges or someone else. But yeah, that was before Smoke Tooth. Porsche just won Smoke Tooth. If he just comments up. Does he have Toxic on Chansey? Um, I didn't really watch the entire game because I like skipped turns and stuff. And I didn't pay attention because there were like other games. But if he doesn't have like Toxic on anything, the slower might just win. The Ducky could also have Toxic, let's see. Let's see, the Chansey has... Mm, the last move might be... No, the last move has to be Seismic Toss. I don't think it's Toxic. Yeah, yeah, it's not Toxic. He scalded again. Wow, did he predict that? Oh, the Heatron has Toxic. The Heatron has Toxic. So he did predict the Heatron to come out. I don't think he can afford to stay in. Unless he has Rest, but I don't think that's a sad comment. Rest. Scald. And then either Rest talk. Like, that's a 3 good set. But Crow, bro. I don't think that's the set. No way. He has to have Psy Shock. Otherwise, he can't touch the Venusaur anyway. Pretty sure he has Psy Shock. And Slack off. Yeah, I like Mega Slowbro a lot. I have used built with it in Sun and Moon lately. My team is the team is not that bad. It's a bit weak to mimic you. But it was working out decently well on the ladder. I played when I was super tired, like it worked out well besides the games where I just didn't give a fuck and just <laughs> click buttons. Like I think I went like uh, eight and three or something like that. And like one or two of the games were pretty much throw and I should have won them anyway. <laughs> Not that ladder means anything. I should test my teams versus friends or like two players. I shouldn't test on ladder. I mean, la testing ladder is okay sometimes. I like to do it for recordings. So if he pursues this here and gets the play correct, then the slope can win. That's really nice. And you might just knock off predicting the opponent to predict, predicting poachers to predict the pursuit. I think I would knock off here. Yeah. Like, what do you lose from clicking knock off? If he gets in the Venusaur, I think they would get two Kyoto as a range, so that's not a switch in. Yeah, you can. I don't think the Venusaur would be a switch in. Dougie's not a switch in either. Like, yeah, knockoff is fine here. Zapdos is the only potential switch in. Did he already knock off the Zapdos left? Zapdos lefties. There's the Heatran. The Heatran is gone. Whew. Okay, I was I wanted to call if like see if you already knocked off the Zaps lefties. But now he's gonna go for a reversal pick off the Wee Walls. He still has a sash intact. Uh, unnecessary crit. If this doesn't have toxic Yeah, he doesn't go slow roll fearing the potential toxic from this. Because if slow roll comes in and like I don't know what does slow even set up on? It sets up on Chansey. 
Not sure if it can set up on the Zapdos. It didn't reveal if it has Discharge, T-Bolt, or Volt Switch yet. I think it's Discharge, maybe? Not sure. Yeah, if it's not toxic on anything, Slower should win this. Yeah, I, ho I hope Germany doesn't lose their last game, dude. I'm gonna be so mad. You got this, Obliv. Oh, he misses a Toxic. That's a bit annoying. I mean, no, the chance he has healed double miss. <laughs> it's funny how he double crit earlier. He double crit the Skarmory, now he double missed the Toxic. There's a few countries um, that can go 15 15 apparently. So there might be a tiebreaker. Wow. I mean, that would be fun to record that, but on the. Oh my lord, he went doggy on the rocks. What a flex play. Um, I think Porges might be on Team Europe because, like, we're car I think he is, but like I said, I can't really open any other tabs to check it because this net is so ass. Like, you don't even know how bad this internet is. Like, sometimes even the short on animations and the smog to chat lags. But I'm just happy that I can record it. I, I can upload it afterwards, that's fine. But. Just so you guys know, I put in a lot of effort to get even more recordings than I uploaded. Like, just some I cannot upload because my internet disconnected and, like, half through, they, half through like, I had to stop recording. And I'm not gonna, like, re-narrate over the replays. Like, like, I already upload so much. Like, I, I don't know. I don't want to spend even more time. But it seems my fast internet hasn't come back yet, so I can't upload any other vids yet. That's fine. I guess more content tomorrow for you guys. <laughs> well, like not when this video goes up, it's you already know it's already tomorrow when this video goes up. He misses a Draco, damn. I just hope that no one else starts the game like I said before this ends, but it looks like it's over in the next few minutes. Does he have Sucker Punch? I mean, this is faster than the Lari, but I don't know if re Reversal kills. Unless the Lari is Scarf. I guess it might be Scarf Lari. Yeah, Lari was not trapped in, and now he gets for, now he gets a Calm Mind. We already know this doesn't have Toxic. So please just don't have Toxic on anything and Slower wins. Not that I have anything against you, but I want this game. I always like it when Feather teams lose, even though I use Feather teams myself sometimes. <laughs> I think he's just gonna go for discharge. He does mega evolve to prevent the crit from happening, and there, yeah, there's no para. He's gonna go for slack off here. Hopefully, no para. I, I think this means that that this confirms that he doesn't have toxic. My internet died again. You guys can see this internet is complete ass. There was no para on the last turn. I'm gonna pause the recording real quick. Went for discharge again. I don't see what the slower went for. I'm on turn 64. I'm gonna keep that in mind and pause real quick and be right back. Yeah, we're not gonna rewatch because we missed a lot of turns and the Slowbro basically won the game. That's what I expected to happen, unless he gets para like 5 million times. Yeah, they already said GG is over. Does not get para gets the Psychic off and the Slowbro picked up the win for a Spectre Reader on Team Italy. I'm 18 and 12 now. But yeah, thank you guys for watching really long. <laughs> Got like 4 games in this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I know some of you prefer not that many games in one video. If my net wouldn't have died, I could have split it up because I, I or like, did it so I have two laptops on this day. Like I got one from a friend, but I couldn't do that because my like I said my net died and this net is so slow I can't be in the net with two computers at the same time. I know it's also a bit um, complicated. I feel to like, like I have to run over to the other computer when another game starts and this. Like, when let's say I'm recording Spectre Reader Poges, and let's say Zamrock versus I don't know who he plays today starts. So I would have to run to my other computer, click start record, and then I would have to run back to this, and I would miss some turns. But that wouldn't be the problem if my net would work. The main problem was that my net just said noob today to me. But thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for more World Cup coverage. And if you watch to the end, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed the video if you watched to the end, so uh, leave a like, please. And...
yeah, like I'm putting in all the effort. I'm pretty sure that it is fine if I ask for a like here and there. So yeah, I will see you guys with more World Cup coverage. And I will make an update video at the ending when to say which teams move which team moves on to the next round. Maybe in an either in the last game that I record or just in general like like a three minute video where I talk about which team moved on. Or I might also and I might make another video when the next round goes on um, with like predictions with my friends. Let's maybe we will see what happens. But thank you guys for watching and we out. Whew.